Have I stumbled across an international geek convention or something? Who are you? Just a lonely traveller seeking out warmth and succour. What do you want? I want to know what's going on here. We've come up here for the weekend to play apartments and accountants. Play what? It's an exciting role-playing game set in the world of real estate, accountants and technology. You mean it's sort of like Dungeons and Dragons? What's so interesting about Dungeons and Dragons? That's just real life. In this game, you get to meet DJs, politicians and Danny Baker. I think we better get started. Can I watch? No problem. Just try not to disturb us, okay? Whatever. Okay, right. Has everyone got their characters sorted out? Yeah, chill out, man. Let's do a quick character rundown. My guy's called Scott and he's a fourth level student. My character's Dave and he's a second level rugby player. I've got Rupert, the sixth level computer hacker. I'm playing Nock and he's a ninth level soldier. Alright, do you all remember what's going on? We've all been captured by fascist police and accused of penguin smuggling. That's right. Okay, you're all locked up in a cell, awaiting trial. What are you doing? I think we should hold a demonstration. Let's drink 12 pints of lager and deck some queers. I'll use my remote modem to cyberlink net crews on the information superhighway. What good will that do? None, I just get a kick out of saying it. I'll smear animal droppings over me face. You don't have any animal droppings, and the fascist cops have taken Rupert's remote modem. Who's with me on this demonstration? What are we demonstrating against? Our wrongful imprisonment, of course. We could throw in some stuff about student hardship while we're at it, though. I've still got my anorak, haven't I? Yes. Thank Doss for that. I'll try and bend the cell bars with me bare hands. You get a 10,000 volt shock from the electrified bars. <laughs> a measly 10,000 volts. And both your arms are blown off. Uh, who needs arms? Arms are for wussies. Has anybody got any Rizzler? Has anyone got any lager? I'm going to search the cell for weaknesses. The cell is totally featureless, except for a high window in one wall. Oh, I hate windows. I'm going to start a fight on someone. Good idea. How about old Scott? But I'm a pacifist. What's a pacifist? Someone who doesn't hit you back. Sounds good to me. I'm going to talk about VAX 11 memory management systems to calm everyone down. Rupert manages to bore everyone into a state of blissful euphoria. Award yourself 200 experience points. Cool. That means I've got up to level 7. That means you get a special ability to talk in binary. Your sweaty odour rating goes up 5% and your grasp of reality down by 10%. Oh, 01, What we need here, right, is a rucksack full of rocks and a mountain to yomp up. I think we should have a scrum down and sing some dirty songs. I know this really good one about an Eskimo. Either of you two wimps got any ideas? Wimp? I'll have you know I recorded 41 frags on Netdoom once. We could try the old overcome the guards trick. 
All we need is one of us to pretend to be sick or something. I'll punch Rupert in the stomach. You haven't got any arms, remember? Okay. I'll kick Rupert in the stomach then. Rupert is in a lot of pain. 101011111111111. That means ah in binary. You think you can hear the guard coming? <laughs> he said coming. We'll wait for him to arrive and then point out the comatose Rupert. The guard has arrived and enters the cell to have a look at him. I'm going to grab a handy weapon in my teeth and hit him. What are you going to grab? Uh, Scott. Hey! Okay, you deal the guard a heavy blow with Scott. Scott? is in a lot of pain and the guard is unconscious. You bastard! Okay, uh, let's get out of here. Unfortunately, neither Rupert nor Scott are in any fit state to move. I'll grab Rupert if not can get Scott. I'll grab Scott with my teeth again. Okay, you run. I insist on yomping. Okay, Dave runs and knock yomps down a long dimly lit corridor. What is your thing anyway? It's like running, but louder, I think. You pass a fire escape door on your left after about 200 yards. Let's take it. You ch You yomp through the door into a fire escape, which hasn't been built yet. Oh. You fall about 20 feet before landing comparatively unharmed. Comparatively to what? Scott, which is what you landed on. I'd like to have a protest march. Knock has achieved multiple fractures to both legs. Scott is very unconscious in a Scott-shaped hole in the ground. Rupert and Dave are still at the top of the fire escape door. We'd better look for another way down. Well, I should be able to walk in by now. You feel sufficiently recovered to do that. Let's go then. You find your way down and out without any further trouble. You were being held in a disused warehouse. And that guard was the only one there. Right. Let's get the others and go down to the pub. I need to email my virtual date in Singapore. Have I regained consciousness yet? No. And budding quadriplegic knock is in severe pain. Yeah, all in the week feel pain, right? I'll take a couple of military issue aspirin, be right as rain. You feel a bit better, but you still can't walk. Right, let's ditch the warmonger then. What? But this unit would be nothing without me. Yeah, you've been a great help already. I'm not a unit, I am a free man. I mean, what were you thinking when you shouted at that huge security guard? Well, he looked at me sort of funny. And why can't you just live in peace? Yeah, chill out, man. And then you legged it, and he had to go with us. I was, uh, scouting the terrain, right? Uh, pulling off a valiant guard action style sort of thing, right? I, I, I don't need to explain complex military manoeuvres to a zibby. If it wasn't for Rupert's ability to bore people into euphoric trances, we could have been in big trouble. But I can't help it if no one finds formal methods remotely interesting. Shut up! Last time you mentioned that, I didn't wake up for three days. Not that that's unusual, of course. Who needs drugs when you got Rupert? 
I can't take any more of this sad conversation. Want to try this new triple caffeine stuff? Sure. We're short of a player now. Your friend has just turned into a beagle. Aren't you a bit shocked? Why would we be? Probably just a variation in the local magical flux. Happens all the time round here. Shame we're short a player now. We'll have to find someone else to take his place. I'll do it. Mm, okay then. Do you know the rules? I think I get the gist of it. Have a seat. I've got a spare character for you. Hmm. It says here that I'm a journalist reviewing games for computers. Yeah. A computer is like a magic box where... I know, I know. I work for what PC Games Magazine magazine. That's right. You have no sense of humour whatsoever. Oi, that's fighting talk, that is. Mm, your character, I mean. You mean that I give games 69% because it's an amusing score? Mm. I can see you've got the hang of this already. Okay, where do we start? Well, we might as well jump into a fight straight away. I don't approve, you know. Don't worry, I'm a dead shot with a BFG. You haven't got a BFG. What does BFG mean anyway? Big foot. Yes, yes, yes. I, I think we all suspect the answer to this one. Okay, everyone roll the dice. Seven. Damn. Four. Decorator, fourth class. Oh. What's so scary? They can drink endless cups of tea and show cavernous ass cleavage. What are we gonna do? I think Simon had better roll. Okay, here goes. Four. Is that any good? I'm afraid not. You all lose two hit points. Roll the dice! Seven. Nine. No good. It's all down to Simon. Do you mind if I use my own dice? Go ahead. Twelve! You've hit him. Now roll again for damage. Twelve again! He retreated! Well done! Nice one! And you didn't have to kill him either! Simon gets the new player handout! What's this? A wallpaper catalogue that he left behind! Oh, how useful! Okay guys! What do you want to do now? Let's sack the place, right, and steal everything of value. That would be wrong and immoral. Maybe they've got a new modem in here somewhere, yeah? Uh, I hate to break up the flow, guys, but uh, I gotta go. I'd like to say it's been fun, but 
Well, it really hasn't. Mm, I guess we'll play on without you then.